Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the court versus problem A donut shops. So in this problem we are given that there are two donut shops and the first shop sells donuts so that every donut costs one A dollars. Okay, so each donut costs A dollars. The second shop sells only boxes of donuts and each box contains B donuts and costs C dollars. Okay, so uh, if I want to buy suppose two donuts from the second shop but they're only selling boxes of five donuts, then I have to buy one box, meaning that I have to buy five donuts, even though I wanted only two donuts. So that is what's written here. If you want to buy X donuts from the second shop, then you have to buy the smallest number of boxes such that the total number of donuts in them is greater than or equal to X. Okay. Now, we want to determine two positive integer values such that uh, the amount of donuts that we buy in both the shops are same. However, the price in the first shop is lesser than the second shop. Again, we have to find one more value for that, which is the amount of donuts, which is same for the first shop and the second shop. However, the cost of those donuts is lesser in the second shop than in the first shop. So uh, that's it. We're just given three variables, A, B, and C, where A is the price of one donut in the first shop, B is the box B is the number of donuts in one box in the second shop and C is the cost of that box. So we're given some test cases. So let's just copy one test test case and see. Okay, so we have a test case 5, 10, and 4. I'll increase the size so it becomes more clear. So we have 5, 10, and 4. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we have 5, 10, and 4. This is A, this is B, this is C. So that means that first shop, first shop, we have one donut for four dollars and in the second shop in the second shop we have ten donuts for uh, sorry first one donut for five dollars in the first shop and for the second shop we have four ten donuts for four dollars okay so according to what is given and given to us in the question five ten and four the first shop sells one donut for five dollars second shop sells ten donuts for four dollars and we can only buy box of 10 donuts we cannot buy two donut or three donut we can only buy multiples of 10 donuts okay now like i said first we have to calculate the number of donuts number of donuts so that price is less in first shop and two number of donuts so that the price is less in second shop of the same amount of donuts in both the shops in second shop okay and one more thing is there if no such value exists we have to print minus one okay now uh, so in the first question we want to maximize the price of donut maximize price of donut in second shop correct so how do we do that so I'm getting B donuts for C dollars now suppose I don't want B donuts, I only want one donut, but still I only want one donut, but I have to buy a box because they don't sell one donut. Okay, I have to buy a box and that box costs $3. So no matter how many donuts are in a box, the box may have one donut, the box may have two donuts, but I have to buy one box if I want one donut. And for one donut, that will be the maximum price in the second shop because for one donut, we're buying the whole box. And so one donut will have C dollars. So that is the maximum price we can get for second shop. And for one donut in the first shop, we have A dollars. Okay. So this is second shop. So this is second shop. This is first shop. Okay. So if C is greater than A, then our answer is C for the first, for the first case, meaning that uh, if I buy and the donuts I'm buying is 1. So if C is greater than A, then answer is 1. Because I'm buying one donut and for that I have to buy a whole box which costs me C dollars and that is more costlier than buying it from the first shop in which I can get one donut for just A dollars. Okay. So again, what we're doing is in the second shop, we're buying only one donut. And for that one donut, we have to buy the whole box and we have to pay C dollars. But if I do the same in the first shop, I'll have to pay A dollars. So if A is less than C, answer is 1. We can just print that. Else, answer is minus 1. Okay. So why only this case? Because this is the maximum price in the second shop which we can get for one donut. Okay. So this is the first 
case scenario. Now, number of donuts so that price is less than second shop. So in this, we have to minimize the do minimize the price in second shop. Okay. So why are we only playing with the second shop? Because the first shop has the price fixed. Okay. One donut has eight dollars. We cannot minimize that. We cannot maximize that. But in the second shop, they selling boxes. Okay. So in one donut, we'll have different price. Because we wanted only one do donut, okay. But for B donuts, we'll have different price, okay. So minimizing the price in second shop, what we'll do is we will buy B donuts from both the shop, okay. So B donuts buying B donuts from both the shop, how much that will cost me in the first shop? That will cost me A into B, correct? Because I'm buying B donuts from the first shop, that will cost me A into B. Second shop, I'm buying B dollars, so that will cost me. Yeah, so then in the second shop, I'm buying B donuts. In the first shop, I'm buying B donuts. So in the first shop, I'll have to pay A into B. But in the second shop, I'm buying the whole box for C dollar, C dollars. Okay. In the first case, in this case, what we were doing is we were buying one donut, but we had to pay for the whole box. So you can think of it as we were throwing the rest of the donuts, but we were paying for the whole box. But here we want all the B donuts and we're paying the price C for that. So this is the minimum price per donut we can get in the second shop. So in here we can do the same thing, comparison with A into B and C. So now I'll just move to my code. Okay, so you can see this is my code. Simply if C is greater than A, then I'll buy one dollar that will cost me uh, A. I'll sorry, I'll buy one donut which will cost me A in the first shop and it will cost me C in the second shop. So if C is greater than A, then it being more costlier in the second shop. Otherwise, I'll buy B donuts, okay? And uh, buying B donuts, it will cost me A into B in the first shop, A into B dollars in the first shop, and it will cost me C dollars in the second shop. So if A into B is greater than C, then the first shop is being more costlier, and I'm buying B dollars. So again, in both the cases, what we're doing is to maximize the price of donuts per uh, do uh, donuts in the second shop. What we're doing is we're buying one donut, one. Do and in the second shop, we're buying B donuts. So that's all, guys.